uh, The Man with the Movie Camera was made in 1929. Sigurd Bertov expressed in this film everything he knew, everything he aspired to, and that was to reflect the great dynamism, the great set of hopes, the texture of new Soviet life as he and his contemporaries experienced it. He started already in 1920 when he traveled with the agit prop trains into the southern regions of the Soviet Union, trains that were developed as traveling propaganda and information centers that went into the countryside to inform villages and small townships of the greatness of the revolution. These trains contained not only printing presses and cinema units, they actually had also cinemas on board. Vertov and his colleagues on these trains developed an idea to film instantly, develop the film instantly on board of the train and show the film the same day to the same audiences that were seen in these films. He succeeded in giving people a sense of the instantaneity of cinema, the spontaneity even, which others of his generation were not able to achieve. The Man with the Movie Camera is in so far interesting that it is a, a film about film. It is a, 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 a film that starts in the cinema audience, shows the projectionist uh, that uh, is showing the film, uh, it shows the editor that puts the film together, but of course, most importantly, Michael Kaufmann, uh, Werthoff's brother, who is the cameraman, who is everywhere. His camera, his eye, his sensibilities, his physical presence, his spiritual engagement, everything is spot on. The entire team is involved and is seen constantly. So the viewers of the film are aware of what cinema is. They are not only the audience, but also the participants in the making of this film. In this film, Vertov develops also to the extreme his editing technique, the montage. The editing was done by Vertov himself and his wife, Svilova. The materiality of the film, the instant effect of the film, is his incredible intensity.